much for your time. Um, it is confirmed. Paolo is no longer Swansea City manager. What is your initial reaction to that news? Um, to be honest, pleased. I think a lot of the fans uh, will be pleased as well. Um, I thought he came in and uh, he had most of the success on the back of Martinez's team. And um, a lot of people have said they're not going to buy season tickets this year due to the fact that Paolo Sosa will still be the manager. But now he's gone, let's get a new manager in and uh, let's get going again. It's quite surprising really, normally when a manager goes, people are disappointed, certainly not pleased. No, because uh, I think we only scored something like 40 odd goals last year, which is the lowest amount of goals for quite a number of years. It's just, it wasn't exciting at the end of the season and uh, people weren't, uh, weren't enjoying the football at the Liberty. So is this then a blessing in disguise that he's gone? Do you think Swansea will do better next season now that he's not here? Well, it's difficult to say they do better because we've lost Leon, of course, who was a real, uh, real sort of linchpin of the team. The way uh, Martinez played the team 4-5-1 and Paolo as well 4-5-1, he was the main sort of player in that team. And it'll be interesting to see whether they bring in a continental manager or a, a British type manager. Whether they still play 4-5-1, we need the likes of Liam Britton in the team. So it'll be interesting to see if they're going to replace like for like with, uh, with Leon Leven. You mentioned Leon. Do you think had Paolo gone while he's future was still up in the air that maybe they could have convinced him to stay yeah well it's a difficult one really I'd have to ask Leon that uh, I think he may have stayed obviously um, he's got ambition Leon and uh, he wanted to play in the premiership and uh, of course he hasn't gone to the premiership he's gone to uh, uh, Sheffield I thought he would have gone with Roberto I, th I think he'd have been ideal in Roberto's setup but uh, he's gone now and uh, you know, he's, he, he left a great great uh, feeling amongst the fans. He was seven years here and he, he played, him and Alan Tia joined at the same time and they both have been legends really for the club. And it's so sad that I would have liked Leon to stay, stay here till the end of his career and get into the Premiership with Swansea City. Speaking to some fans around the stadium this morning, a few of them have accused Paolo of not showing them any loyalty. Do they, do they have a point there? Um, well, it's, it's just a feel. Le Leicester came in the paper this week and said he wanted Paolo. The first thing Paolo should have said, I'm not going, I'm Swansea City's manager. He hasn't said a word which suggested to everybody that he was leaving. He's just used Swansea as a stepping stone, like I said earlier. And um, uh, he didn't have the passion for the club that Roberto certainly had. You say they used Swansea. That, that was really, as a former player, and to the fans as well, that must really upset you. Well, it has really. Roberto leaving upset me. I'd have loved Wigan to come down and Swansea to go up. You know, and all the best, Roberto. And I like Roberto. He, he, he was a great guy. He was well liked by Swansea. He'd done his best for the club. But his ambition was to be a Premiership manager and he went into the Premiership with Wigan. This guy has just gone sideways. He's gone to Leicester City. He's been QPR, Swansea, Leicester, three Championship teams. And it, it just suggests he's, he's just waiting for somebody to come and sort of grasp him and say, come into the Premiership or go to Real Madrid or whatever. And uh, I don't think it's going to happen in his career. Future now then, who comes in? The, the name's being banded about already. Graham Jones, who we all know quite a lot about. Paul Tisdell at Exeter, Gareth Southgate, Gus Poyet, uh, Chris Coleman's been mentioned as well. Any of those take your fancy? Um, well, I would say I like Chris Coleman. I admire Chris a great deal. He was obviously a Swansea lad. Didn't play a great deal here, but in his early days he did. And uh, he's become a fine manager. He'd be a, a, but it's, that, that's the Swansea City. I told you earlier, I said John Torshak was sacked at Swansea within two years, he manager of Real Madrid. So, and that is Swansea City, whether... I'd like a, a British manager to come in now. We've had two sort of continental managers. I'd like a British guy to come in. You need a bit of stability among anything else, don't you? Yes, and uh, bringing Graham Jones in, perhaps I think Hill knows him well from being here with, with Roberto. But I, f I find it strange that uh, I don't think Graham would leave Roberto. I think they're a team and... Uh, but who knows, if he gets offered the job, he's never been a manager himself, so to be nice, to see, I, I wouldn't mind to see Graham here, he's a good guy. Is Swansea an attractive prospect for an up-and-coming manager, do you think? Oh, most certainly, I, I'd say it's one of the big attractions there, with a big, big championship club. We've got the facility here, the stadium is fabulous, and it's ripe for the Premiership, you know, if the likes of Blackpool can do it, why can't we do it?